सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस डी प्रॉब्लम इक्वेशन बट बिफोर इंटरिंग इन टू द टॉपिक दैट इज डी प्रॉब्लम इक्वेशन आई वुड लाइक टू रिमाइंड यू दैट आइंस्टाइन इन नाइनटीन जीरो फाइव टोल्ड दैट लाइट हैज डिवल कैरेक्टर वट यू टोल्ड लाइट हैज डिवल कैरेक्टर तो फर्स्ट वन इज द वेब कैरेक्टर एंड द सेकेंड वन इज द मेटेरियल पार्टिकल कैरेक्टर सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द प्रॉब्लम इक्वेशन दैट इज दॉब्लम बिफोर गोइंग टू द टॉपिक आई वुड लाइक टू रिमाइंड यू दैट आइंस्टाइन इन 1905 जीरो फाइव टोल्ड दैट लाइट हैज डिवल कैरेक्टर लाइट हैज डिवल कैरेक्टर डिवल कैरेक्टर मीन्स लाइट एक्ट एज ए वेब एज वेल एज लाइट एक्ट एज ए मेटेरियल पार्टिकल टू कीप दिस इन टू माइंड लेटर ऑन इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर डी प्रॉब्लिंग लाइट पार्टिकल हैज ऑल्सो डिवल कैरेक्टर वॉट इट ओल्ड पार्टिकल हैज ऑल्सो डिवल कैरेक्टर की टोल्ड अबाउट पार्टिकल दैट Particle has also dual character. Dual character means here particle has also wave nature, wave nature, and particle has particle nature. Particle has also wave nature as well as particle nature, and the wave associated with this particle is called matter wave. or de broccoli wave now now we will try to derive the equations what he gave in 1924 that is de broccoli equation that is de broccoli equation so now the equation he used two equation the first is einstein's equations and the second is uh, planck's theory according to einstein's e equal to mc square it is einstein's equation and according to it is einstein's equation and number two is equal to e equal to h nu It is Planck's theory. From equation one and two, from equation one and two, what we can say that from equation one and two, what we get, we get that m c square equal to h b. Again, we know n equal to c by lambda. Again, we know what m c square equal to h n equal to c by lambda. C by lambda. Now c and c cancels. So we get m c equal to h by lambda. Or Or lambda equal to h by m c. Since De Broglie talked about the particle nature, so c is replaced by b. Here c is replaced by c is replaced by b. So it it becomes h b h nu. This is actually called. This is actually called De Broglie equation. So we can write here equation three is De Broglie equations. We can also extend De Broglie equations as we know a mass in velocity equal to momentum. So by using this equation again we can write equation three. Suppose it is equation four. So from equation three and four 
what we get from equation 3 and 4 what we get we get that lambda is equal to h by p this is another form this is another form of de Broglie equation we can also extend the de Broglie equations in some other forms so let us see now what happens we know kinetic energy equal to half mv square this is the well known equation of kinetic energy kinetic energy equal to half mv square from this equation we can also uh, find v square v square equal to 2 ke by m so v equal to 2 ke by m now what we derived from uh equations that uh, lambda equal to x by mv when we put the value of v in these equations what we get we get that lambda equal to x by m and by m this we get so again it is h by Newton this is the other form of de Broglie equations we can see we can also extend de Broglie equations some other form we know suppose Suppose this is the electron, it is projected by potential V. By V potential, it is projected. And its charge is E, so its kinetic energy is V into E. And here KE is, K -E is replaced by VE. So again, we get lambda equal to H by. M -V. This is again the other form of the problem equations. So, students, today uh, we have discussed the Broglie equations and we also derived the Broglie equations. And from this lecture, we got that the Broglie equations can be written in different forms. Uh, uh, here we have discussed about three to four forms. Thank you.